On today's episode of my F1 23 career mode, we take on the Hungarian and Belgian GPs, but a shock driver swap may leave us fighting for more than we were expecting. Contract renewal. Do we leave Alpha Tauri? The thing is that Aston Martin seat is opening at the end of the season. I mean, we can approach any team that we want. Red Bull, do they want to sign me? Imagine we go into Red Bull. Do we get promoted halfway through the season? If we don't get Red Bull, we stay. Salary, I mean, we just go for that. Do they want me? Are we going to be a Red Bull driver? We're a Red Bull driver! <laughs> we are driving for Red Bull. We have made the switch halfway through the season. We are now a Red Bull driver. Let's go. Here we go then. First lap in qualifying in a Red Bull. Let's see what we can do. Purple sector one. Oh, this feels so good. It's purple sector two. Oh, it's so fast. It's so good. And it is going to be... P1. P1. Three temps. Max Verstappen. Only P4. That is good. Here we go. First lap in Q2. We're on an old set of tires. So let's see if we can put it at the top once again. Purple sector one. Can we make it? Purple sector two. Right through the last corner. We've got purple in sector one. Not in sector two though. Can we finish it off with a purple sector three? And it is indeed pole position for now. To be fair, Max Verstappen was only one tenth off us in that session, but we did use old tyres. Here we go then, Q3. Let's see what we can do. Let's stick it on pole. Our first pole of our career. Let's see if we can do it as we start the lap now. Other drivers have set their lap so far. Not everybody yet, though. Nice through there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We finished the lap. We will finish the lap. That is the save of somebody who is a champion. Remember Max Verstappen in Brazil? Through the last corner then. We had a little bit of a mistake on that lap. Where is it going to put us on the banker? And it's going to be across the line. It's P6. Not the greatest. We can definitely go quicker than that. It's a purple sector three. Can we get a pole position in our first race for Red Bull? Our first ever pole position in the F1 23 career mode. Let's see as we start our lap now and go full on. Push, push. A tenth up. But we need to find more. This is where we slipped last time. Let's not do it again. We don't. Oh, it's six tenths. Come on. Come on. We are cooking right now. Six tenths at the moment bit wide, but we maximize the exit there. To the line, what's it going to be? Is it pole position? Our first pole of our career. It's pole. Yes. Let's go. By a tenth of a second. Two tenths of a second. Three tenths to Max Verstappen. Pole on debut. And we can be very, very happy with that. So this time we've got to watch out for my teammate, George Russell. And I don't know who else behind is going to be on the soft tires, but it seems like there's a fair few drivers on the soft tires. From pole for the first time ever, lights are on, engines revving, and we are racing at the Hungarian Grand Prix. It's a good reactions there from Lewis Hamilton. George Russell, though, does get off to a better start than his teammate. Again, covering off Lewis Hamilton. He's going to go to the inside. We're going to go three wide down into the first corner. Lewis on the right. George on the left. Lewis goes into the side of my car. And that now means I have to fend off my teammate of Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the Hungarian Grand Prix. Max Verstappen on my outside at the moment. Let's make sure we don't make contact with our teammate. He is in the championship running, but it's a decent start with P2. We know that we can fight with Lewis Hamilton. He's on the same tyres as me. Max Verstappen having a run on the back of me. Can't make it stick, though. We are having to fend him off at the moment. No soft tyres. Looking very racy. The team might be looking to give me some team orders. Of course, Max Verstappen fighting with Lewis Hamilton for the championship. But the problem is, we've got our own things to prove. We put it on pole. I want to take home the race win. I'm racing for myself at the moment. We are much better on our tyres. Let's try and catch up to Lewis. One second still. The gap. Oh my god, the, the rear end on this Red Bull is a little bit loose. Maybe it's a bit of the setup as well. Not too sure if tyres are overheating on those rears. As Verstappen still maintain the gap to us. Although we've broken away a little bit from Max. Just got to make sure we don't spin out the last corner. That's important. One second the gap to Lewis now. DRS going to be activated or it already is activated. Right, we're already gapping Max Verstappen. So those soft tyres are dropping off already. This could be a great battle for the lead of the race. Obviously, if we start winning races, we can get into the championship fight. We've got the car to do so now. Now. We've got to be aware that our championship contenders or the championship leaders is Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton, the next guy up. Sergio Perez after that, but I don't think he's going to be challenging for anything now in that 
Williams. Maybe AlphaTauri didn't really want him. He's not exactly a rookie. Not exactly a young driver anymore. So maybe the drop down wasn't an option. They decided to go for the young American driver of Logan Sargent instead. Still sticking with the DRS. Five tenths of a second now to Lewis. We're not going to overuse the battery. Still got a long way left to go in this race. Plenty of time. Plenty of opportunities to maybe get past. Oh, he makes a little bit of an error there. That's going to allow us to catch up. Raining apparently 10 to 15 minutes. I don't think it's going to be here at the end. And if it does, I don't think it's going to affect us. We will judge it later on in the race, though. Holding on nicely, but a little bit of a wiggle. Not quite as confident as he was earlier on. Max Verstappen, three-second gap now over our teammate. Not going to push it too much. I'm not too bothered about fighting him at the moment. I want to break the gap to Verstappen and the rest of him. If I feel like Lewis Hamilton is starting to hold me up, and I feel like I'm, I'm stuck behind him, then I will look to try and get past him. But right now, we are happy sitting behind Lewis Hamilton and extending that lead. Verstappen's the one that I'm more worried about compared to Lewis Hamilton right now. We're going to get a nice exit off the last corner. And he just has that straight line speed. Look at that. Only really now, halfway down the straight, do we notice the difference in the straight line speed between the two cars thanks to DRS. So Hamilton doing really good. It's Hamilton all over the place though. What is going on with Lewis in that car right now? And, uh, oh, bit of a mistake there. Bit of a mistake. Wait until we know that we are already secure in this position. They're going to box earlier than us. They're going to perform the undercut. We need that gap. Because as we've seen, when we do the undercut, it's bloody powerful. George Russell's overtaken Max Verstappen. There's a battle going on behind us, which again, good news. Good news for us. This is why we don't fight. Russell hits early. How that will affect them as we're right up behind Lewis now. Science now might be having a look at Max. Max on the wrong strategy, I think. Maybe get him here. We're close enough. Do we want to fight him? I don't think we want to fight him, but he's going to get offensive anyway. Switch it back on Lewis. When we don't get it, Lewis Hamilton still holding on to the position right now. Oh, very slow into turn two. But again, there's no point fighting. George Russell and Max Verstappen, they're on that undercut. So let's see what Hamilton does. If Hamilton boxes this lap, we also box this lap. But copy Hamilton. Hamilton doesn't box. We stay out. If we go early, we jump him. He could then get us back with the better tyres later on, which I think is the better strap. He's in the box. Oh, he makes a mistake coming into the pit lane. Right, into the box we go. What is Hamilton doing? We're going soft tyres. Tires. See what we can do here. We're underway. Do we jump him? We jump him. Yes. He's going hard. He's going long. We're going for different tires. It's going to be a bit of a bit of a push here for us because Hamilton is going to be after us at the end of this race. So if there is any rain, then we've made a good strategy. Five minutes to rain. That could really throw a curveball into this race. So we need to extend that lead over Lewis. Keep doing that on these soft tires. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell though. Hunting us down. The Mercs have got some really good pace around this Hungarian Grand Prix circuit. Yellow flag. One of the Mercs as an issue. It's Lewis Hamilton. Lewis has got a problem. He's out of this race when he was fighting for the win. That's going to extend the lead of Max Verstappen. Disaster for the Mercedes, but great news for me because I now have a two-second lead. There he is, Lewis Hamilton. He's not going to be a happy, happy boy at the moment. Oh, no, there it is. I've seen it. It's raining. The rain is falling. Will we go to intermediate tyres by the end? It's spitting. AI won't box to inters unless it gets very heavy. Oh, Charles Leclerc is overtaking Max Verstappen right now. The lower Max Verstappen is, the better we're going to look in this car. I've felt the drop off. Definitely lap times are dropping down. Dries are the tyres to be on. Track is getting a lot worse at the moment. There's no need to box. One lap left to go. They're throwing everything at me in this F1 23 career mode. The grip isn't quite there. George Russell, DRS is now disabled. It's definitely time for intermediates. George Russell catching a lot of time on us at the moment. He's not struggling at all. Round the last corner. Here we go. It's taken halfway through the season. A switch to Red Bull. But we are a winner in Formula One. Yes. Let's go. Very, very happy with that. Yes. There we go. Holding the Union Jack flag. We're a race winner in Formula One. Let's start the lap at the Belgian Grand Prix and see if we can get through into Q2. I need a prediction. Do you reckon we're going to run out of fuel on this lap? Yes or no? Oh my God. I mean, we, we won't run out of fuel. We'll lose our tyre. And we're going to be starting at the back for this sprint race weekend. Oh, no. This is going to make it a difficult race weekend for me. Right, here we go. The Belgian Grand Prix sprint race. The lights are on. Engines revving. We are racing from the back of the field. And let's see how many positions we can make up to set ourselves up nicely for the main race on Sunday. Having a little look up the inside. Can go really late on the break. On the McLaren. It's a good start. It's already up to P. 13 side by side with Esteban Ocon as we go down the hill into the Eau Rouge and rally on section. I think Ocon's just gonna have a little bit more straight line speed on us. We're gonna go wheel to wheel with a McLaren here. We've got a lift off. Oh, we've had a big snap. 
Oh, it's with the Haas. We've just about managed to save it up against Magnussen there. But that was very, very close to being raced over. We do need to be careful as Norris sends it up my inside. Again, he's turning out of corners, just like in Austria, trying to take us out. Not too sure what is going on with Lando Norris there. It seems like we don't have a good car around this track. The back end is stepping out on us a bit too much. Maybe something with the setup that I need to change before the main race in terms of the wing. We're going to go up the inside of Norris now. We snuff him out. We're into P14. And let's go hunt down Kevin Magnussen. We've got the car to do so. Right, let's catch up to these guys if we can. As Max Verstappen sets the fast up of the race, he's still in the lead at the moment. Here we go on Kevin Magnussen. We've got the rocket ship of a Red Bull. Even with a little bit of a setup change. Hard on the brakes. Into Lecom. On the inside, round the outside now, Kevin Magson, and we snuffed him out, and we're into P12. We're just outside the top 10 of the moment. Remember, top 8 get points, though. And if we can stay within DRS, which I think we're going to do so, that's good news. It's going to help me protect myself from Kevin Magnussen. Ocon right on the back of Hulkenberg. Is he going to have a look? Yes, he is. Ocon into the back, into the side of Hulkenberg. Nearly takes him out. We're going to try to get past Ocon here. Late on the brakes. I think we can do it. No, we can't. But we can go around the outside, maybe. And we can. A beautiful move. And that's why this car is so superior at the moment. Right, Nico Hulkenberg will be up next. But now we're going to get the DRS on. We're going to overtake Nico Hulkenberg. It's going to be an easy overtake. Now, let's see if we can hunt down Lando Norris. If we can get ourselves into the top 10, that'd be brilliant news. I think it's just a little bit too far ahead. 1.4 seconds the gap right now. We know we're quick into turn one. I've just about got the DRS off of Lando Norris. They're going to fight nonetheless. It's both of them. Ninth and tenth going wheel to wheel. Can we get Lando Norris or Lance Stroll or both? But so far, so good. Car a bit loose there. Tires may be dropping away from us now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll settle for P11. Settle for P11. Max Verstappen wins the sprint race at the first part of Belgium. It's a good recovery for us, though, up to P11 from the back of the grid. And we go again tomorrow to try and hunt down that race win. But I don't think we would have got Lando or Stroll at the end anyway. So it would have been okay. Here we go, then. It's race time. It's the Belgian Grand Prix. P11 on the grid this time. The lights are on and we're underway. Engines didn't even get a chance to properly rev. But it's a good start compared to Lando Norris. We can maybe have a little look up the inside like we did at the start of the sprint race. Don't want to go into the back of uh, Lance Stroll there. But I have got the start on the likes of Yuki Sonoda overtaking my old teammate. Both of those drivers on the medium tyres. We're on the softs. And obviously, have got to worry about the wings this time. There was a bit of a snap last time through Erosion Radion. As there's a bit of a battle going on up ahead of us, Yuki Sonoda comes back at us and we hold it. There we go. Alonso having a fight, I think it was, with the likes of the Ferrari. Yuki Sonoda again having another little look as we're going to go deep into the corner. Nearly had a look around the outside of Gazi, but Yuki Sonoda comes back at us. My old teammate. I got this seat ahead of him, and we're going to keep it. We're going to keep P9. As we saw earlier, AI very, very quick on the opening lap. Right, Gazi up next. Then it's Stroll. And then it's Alonso. There's a bit of a gap to the guys ahead. As they're going really aggressive up ahead, the two Aston Martin drivers getting a bit feisty out there. So close to the back of Pierre Gasly. We have a little bit of a twitch there. We need to get past him to have a look down into turn one. He's going to go defensive, is he? Yes, he is. Oh, he squeezed me onto the grass around the outside of Gasly, though. If we can make it stick, which I think we are going to. And there we go. We get past the Alpine. Up into P8. He really, really did not want us to get through there. But we forced an opening, and we're up in a P8 now. Now we're going to be hunting down Lance Stroll. Gasly's going to get the DRS on me. For the Ferrari, they're aggressive again. Fernando Alonso defending against Lance Stroll. Can he hold it? Alonso versus Stroll. We're going to try and see if we can sneak anything on these guys. Switch it back on Alonso. And we've done it. There we go. Overtaking the man on the hard tyres. We have to get that overtake done. No wonder we were held up so long. He's on hard bloody tyres, we're going to say. Here we go then. Let's try and hunt down Lance Stroll through Eruge and Radion. We're going to use our ERS. We're going to use DRS as well. He's got nothing to defend with. Has Lance Stroll. We move over to the right. And that's an easy overtake on the Aston Martin driver. Up to P6 now. Right, 1.2 seconds now to Stroll. I think we've just done a little bit better at managing our tyres compared to he has. So let's see what we can do. Stroll half a second down on us. Has that straight line speed though. So that's where he can benefit and gain. But we need to try and gain on Sean Leclerc to get that DRS. Through turn one. Good on the brakes there. I think we're going to get it if we just keep on burning ERS. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got DRS on Charles. That's great news for us. Oh, it happened again, but we just about managed to hold it this time. All right, boxing this lap. Try and get Charles Leclerc at the same time. So close to the to the back of him now. We're going to box for a new set of mediums and try and undercut the leaders as much as we can. We're very, very close right now to Charles as we go through 
Oruz. Whoa! The washout from the dirty air of Charles Leclerc. He's going to get DRS on Carlos Sainz. We're going to use our ERS to maybe challenge him down into the Lecom section. Hard on the brakes to Charles Leclerc right around the outside and we've got it stuck. Nearly lost the back end when we made it. But you know what? That was a good move. We need to make it done. Now we catch up to the back of uh, Carlos Sainz. I don't know who's got the yellow flag out. Will that bring a safety car? There's a big pile up. There's so many cars. It is a safety car. Safety car's being deployed. This is perfect for us. Box, 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 box. Ah, oh, Max is in the box. I mean, it's wise to do so. There's no reason to stay out here. It's a little bit of a hold up. Oh, I was hoping, I was hoping that we wouldn't get held up there as we're inside another car, but we've jumped. George Russell, we've jumped Charles Leclerc. So we are in net P4 right now. Carlos Sainz is ahead of us. All right, we've got a safety car on lap seven of this race. Carlos Sainz P3, Lewis Hamilton P2. And Max Verstappen, P1. We could still yet win this race. Right, safety car in this lap. Sitting very comfortably in P4. Let's see if we can go on the attack of uh, Carlos Sainz, Lewis Hamilton, and Max Verstappen. And maybe nick this race win. Can we get Carlos Sainz off from the off? No. Are we settled? Okay, here we go. On the attack of Carlos Sainz. Going to go to the left-hand side. He's going to push me right up to the grass using the ERS to get ahead of Carlos Sainz. Can we hold it? He's going to stick his nose in on the inside. We're going to keep it. And we've got it. There we go. P3 onto the podium from the back of the grid in the sprint race. Let's see what we can do then. Lewis Hamilton up the road. Let's make sure we don't get any penalties as well. We're not driving as well as we were earlier. In all fairness, we're still out of that rhythm. As uh, Carlos Sainz going for it here. Oh, I don't want this. I don't want this. Carlos, no. Please don't do this. Please don't go wheel to wheel with me, Carlos. Damn it, he is as well. Going to stuff him out on the inside here, though. Don't want to be fighting him. Going to lose me time. Alonso's got past Sainz. You two battle. That's fine. You two battle as much as possible. Okay, I think maybe P1 and P2. Right now might be off the cards but we'll look at tire drop off from the ai we might have a chance also depends if lewis and max fight each other but i think uh, logan Sargent out of the race but here comes fernando on the inside we're gonna open up the corner we're gonna go wheel to wheel with the spaniard and we're gonna hold it there we go lovely through lacombe but here comes fernando around the outside into blanchemont look at the pace that he has oh we're gonna keep it wheel to wheel though that was close that was scary but we're gonna hold it surely he's gonna go up the inside of me though we're so close between fernando myself and carlos Sainz. He's going to get an extra dose of DRS down the start finish straight, but we're going to get it on the Kemmel straight on Fernando. Very good under the brakes here. Right, on the back of Fernando, we're going to get the DRS on him now. It should be easy on Fernando. I'm not going to use ERS. He's going to defend it. I'm going to take my normal line through the corner, and we're going to get it before the braking zone. I can't afford to lose out to Science. We can lose out to Alonso. We can get him back on the Kemmel straight, but if we lose out to Science, it's going to make that a lot harder. Fernando's going to have a look here. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, Fernando, if you want to have a look? You have a look, mate. You're more more than welcome to P3 right now. And I will follow you all the way down through a Rouge and then back up through Radion. And then we're going to use the DRS and get back past Fernando. Let's go. Easy. I'm back up in a P3 and Lewis Hamilton, not far away from Max Verstappen right now. So if they start fighting, could maybe lose time. But most importantly, Max Verstappen doesn't get further away in the championship. We've got two laps of this race left to go. Here comes Fernando again through Puon. Lovely overtake from Fernando. But we're going to get him back into Puon. Here we go. Lovely switch back on Fernando. Took me by surprise with that move this time around. Goes for the big send. Whoa! Fernando really wants this podium here today. It's wheel to wheel between the two of us. What a battle we are having right now. Going on to the last lap of this Belgian Grand Prix. Fernando still on the inside. Using all the track through Blanchemont. I cannot afford to lose out to Carlos Sainz. There's going to be one lap remaining after this through Blanchemont. We hold it against Fernando Alonso. Will he have a look into the first corner? Yes, he does. Fernando Alonso dives it up the inside. That's perfectly fine with me. As I said, I don't mind that because now I'm going to get the DRS on Fernando as we go down in towards the Kemmel Strait. Going to have to lift off through a Rouge and Bradion just because I'm carrying so much speed. I didn't want to run into the back of the Aston Martin driver. Now we use the DRS. Now we go to the outside. Now we overtake Alonso. Science follows me through and we're going to hit the brake and get it stopped and turned in for Lecom and hold P3 for the time being. But it is not done yet. There's still a long way of this circuit to go. The longest circuit on the F1 calendar. 7% battery awaiting us, but it's not enough. Carlos Sainz goes on the attack. He goes around the outside. We defend from now. Can Sainz do anything into the braking zone at the bus stop chicane? We've gone deep. Sainz will look back at us. We're going to hold it in the inside line. He's still there, but we're going to hold on to it. It's a podium. Back-to-back -back podiums for the first time in our career. What a defense. What a drive and we're happy with that it's not the race win but you know what we can still be very very happy with that result